Okay, this video is going to be brief because we're just talking about intervals again and um, where, where functions cease to be continuous, there will be an interval of the function is going to be broken up into intervals. And by the way, things must be put hashtag interval notation, hashtag notation is required. So just remember that. All right, so for these piecewise, notice this might give you a clue as to whether the function is going to be uh, not continuous where x is equal to 3. So you can look at a graph. If, if not, if I didn't have this graph here, and you can obviously tell that from negative infinity up until 3, this, this graph right here, up until x, where x is equal to 3, that's, that's continuous, and it stops right there at 3. Well, then we take up to the right side of 3, and there's that hollow dot, so we don't put a square bracket, positive infinity. All right, but if we didn't have that graph, right, if that graph was not there, you could still decide. Just plug 3 into both of you Use substitution. So plug 3 in there is 3 halves plus 3. Will that equal the same height as when you plug this in? So 3 squared is 9, plus, plus 3 is 12, subtract 4 times 3, so that height is going to be 0. Well, 3 halves plus 3 is not 0, so we know right there how we could write it. We know that from negative infinity up to 3, but square bracket because this solid line right here, and then because that is not a solid line. So that's one way to do it, that even if you didn't have a graph, and this was on an exam and it was kind of a timed exam, plug the 3 back into the both of those. If those values don't equal each other, it is not continuous, and it is not continuous at that value on the x-axis. And just a reminder, every polynomial is continuous. So the domain on this would just be negative infinity to positive infinity. And whether we're talking about x to the even, and those graphs look like this, or just a smooth parabola instead of a curvy one, and x to the odd, well, both of those continue, as you're looking at the x-axis, the x values continue both in the negative and positive direction. All right, let's see if there's another one. Um, all right, I'm going to go ahead and stop that one right now. Ooh, this might not work out so well for me. All right, I'm going to keep going. Otherwise, it'll get interrupted. Determine if each function is continuous. If the function is not continuous, find the x-axis location. So we've been talking about uh, how to classify, but I'm not sure that every, whoops. I'm not sure everybody is clear on everything that needs to be written. So determine, it, determine if each function is continuous. Well, as soon as you see an asymptote, we know that that function is not, and you would write not continuous, right? But you have to tell me where. If the function is not continuous, where is it not continuous? Where x is equal, and it looks like, well, if you couldn't read that graph. It looks like 1 half, because here's 1. That looks halfway between. Just look at this right here. What would 0 out that x? So 2x subtract 1 is equal to 0. Add one, add 1 to both sides, divide both sides by 2. Where x is equal to 1 half, it is not continuous. But I want you to write the word continuous, not continuous. And then what type of discontinuity? Well, both of those on both sides of where x is equal to 1 half, uh, the graph is headed either to positive or negative infinity, or it kind of does a little shuffle. Uh, this is called essential.
or another way to name that is infinite infinite discontinuity and I want you to write out the word discontin whoops continuity all right so on on this right here on the piecewise obviously there's a big gap so you're going to write out the word not continuous you're going to tell me and this looks like where x is equal to negative one it stops being continuous and this time you have to take a big leap or a big step so this is either jump or step discontinuity and then you're going to finish spelling that out all right let's look at the others okay um, here is the graph of this one. Notice that when you factor this, there's going to be an x minus 2. And those, whoops, x minus 2, those are going to get canceled. And where x is 2, instead of an at vertical asymptote, you've got a hollow dot right there. Whoops. So, not continuous, and write out the word, where x is equal to 2, and that is point, or if it's easier for you to remember that when something is removed, when things are canceled, there's a hollow dot, remove, the teacher would need to be able to spell things correctly, removable. discontinuity alrighty and finally oscillating okay so this in this instance right here we're headed towards zero and it sort of looks like uh, like it is continuous it sort of looks that way but what you have to be aware of is the function we can't ever have zero in the denominator, so this is not continuous where x is equal to zero, and this is oscillating. Discontinuity, and I'm going to run out of space. And I think that's it. All right.